Howdy folks, and welcome back once more to Let's Play Deus Ex. Last time we did the tutorial, today we are actually starting the game. We're just going to play on medium because I'm a coward. So, we get to make our character. This is, I think, our brother's appearance. Maybe, maybe not. Ah, maybe, maybe it just doesn't give us the shades by default. Should we be Grey Denton? We'll be Basic Denton. Okay, so we have 5,000 skill points, and these essentially, like... You'll see as we play, but like you generally speaking, I don't think ever get XP in this for killing people. Most of your exploration is, or most of your experience is gained from exploration and like completing mission objectives, which I guess I suppose sometimes do involve killing people. Uh, but yeah, so what are we gonna use? We, we begin with training and pistol, which I believe that is like rank one essentially. Uh, swimming, realistically, I'm probably never going to train in because we'll eventually get a AUG for our character that lets us breathe underwater. Uh, so I'm gonna grab lock picking, Computers... Uh, I'm thinking maybe a weapon skill. Oh, damn it, I just... No, I don't want to do electronics. Dude, low tech is like knives and shit, yeah. I can't remember. I can't remember if we can get a gep gun in the beginning. I know they, they, they give you a... I'm gonna take the risk. I'm gonna take heavy training. In the, in the vain hope that we're gonna be able to grab a gep gun. You're a point. We've already seen this. Alright. It's right in New York City. So, this game... He should come running. Our brother's going to come running up and pester us here momentarily. Um, but... This game, in a lot of ways, people kind of looked at it as... Telling the future in some ways. One of them is... Since we're in New York, like, you can see that there are no NSF twin towers in the skyline. Which, this came out in 2000, before the twin towers were hit. So... In reality, there's no Twin Towers in the Skyline because of a texture, and no! I don't want to talk to you, bro, you're a loser! Fucking loser, leave- aboard, Son of a bitch. Alright. Paul, oh, I thought you were in Hong Kong. Welcome to the Coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but you Naco better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gep gun, or a mini crossbow. Oh, we do get the gep gun! Okay, so... I'm going to be playing this in the same way... Like, we're going to be doing kind of a stealthy run here. I'm going to be doing stealth in this the same way I did in my Thief Let's Play, which is to say that our stealth will be perfect because there will be no survivors. So give me that Gep Gun. Never know when I might come up against some heavy armor. Give me the Gep Gun. The Gep Gun might be useful. They have a security bot on patrol near the statue entrance. Great. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map of the island. If you can get to the North Dock, a UNATCO informant will give you a key to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, Iron and Copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue. But don't forget about Agent Harriman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. Alright, Gep Gun acquired. So the, the Gep Gun fires Gep Rounds, which are like... Guided Explosive Projectiles, I think? Uh, will it tell me? Gyroscopically stabilized rockets with limited onboard guidance systems engineered for use with the GEP gun. This thing's great! It lets you lock onto targets and then make them go explodey. It's very, very handy. Uh, we will be using it probably pretty sparingly. Okay, so we do have a crowbar for breaking open 
containers, and we have the cattle prod, which I'm gonna hold on to, but we're probably gonna end up just dumping at some point. All right, what kind of goodies we got? Some lock picks, very good. Some binoculars, actually surprisingly useful, and I will probably be holding on to these for the majority of the game. Can't do that. Can't do that. Now, if I recall correctly, is that a 40? That's a 40! And a soda. So we can drink these things and it'll give us like a little bit of healing. Anything fun in the trash can? Sorry, little rat. Ah! Okay. Let us... Let us begin. I believe that there's some goodies in the water here. Oh god. Okay, where's... Where Where's, where's the, there it is. Okay, I was gonna say, that's very, very dark, but that's because this is what we want. Okay. So this game very, very much rewards exploration. Poke around everywhere. You find all kinds of nifty. I don't even know what the fuck those are. All right, you bioelectric cell. So that lets us essentially reach, as of right now, that'll let us recharge our flashlight. Go up there, JC. Get on there. There we go. Okay. What's your take on the situation, Corporal? The bots have them bottled up, sir. We'd go right in if it weren't for the whole back order. How'd they get one of our agents? Gunter went rogue on us. When the order came, he wouldn't pull back. Now you get to bail him out. Gunther is a killing machine. Violence is all he knows. All right, so we have... You can see here, it reco recovers 25 energy... We have multi-tools, we have lock picks. Okay. Go ahead and save again. We could blow him up with a gep gun. Probably not the best thing to do. SF everywhere, JC. Your orders are to shoot on sight. A UNATCO informant on the North Dock can get you inside the statue. Look for a bum. Or identify yourself with the phrase iron and copper. What the fuck? Oh. Somebody just made a, a, a poor choice and attacked us. Had, yeah. No, I've done nothing. I don't even know how these guys are aggroed. I'm not wasting ammo on you. You get the crowbar. All right. I don't, I don't want his corpse. Stealth course. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. Yeah, headshots. Combat knife. Eh. It's lighter than the crowbar, but does less damage. No. We got some smokes. Don't want them. Pepper spray might be funny, though. And we got a candy bar, which will give us... Like some healing. All right, so we're we're totally gonna pepper spray this dude. We just have to get up to him without him hearing us. This does have like thief style sneaky sneak in it, so he's gonna hear us as soon as I get onto this. Hi. That's him. It was only one squirt. It wasn't enough. So you can see, like, two shots at point blank, and this dude went down. Like enemies, human enemies in this are not. By and large, particularly beefy. Okay, so how much ammo do I have for this thing? Sixteen rounds, all right. Okay. So we have a lot of ways we can approach this. If we go this way, it's basically the violent approach. I think there's a doom bot down here. <laughs> I know there are enemy bots out here and they're not nearly as ineffectual as the ones that we bumped into in the tutorial. So we will probably want to be careful about them. Ideal target for the gap gun. I just have to remember how to use it. I think that's base like right over there. I think there's goodies over there. Of course there are. Gas grenade. 
What is gas grenade? Fun detonation. See, oh, it's, it's tear gas. Okay, sure, you can stay. Dude, I don't know what the throwing is like in this game. Let's. Uh. Throwing's pretty good. All right. What's up, dude? Can't see anything. Got some bludgeoning damage. Haha! <laughs> oh shit. Where is he? He's running! Yeah! Oh, that dude had a crossbow on him. This dude had more ammo. Alright, we'll reload. Do I still have two clips? I do, okay. So it's not like discarding ammo. Which is good. Tranquilizer dart gun. Uh, I apparently have three rounds for it. Or I could make it shoot regular darts. Or apparently eventually flare darts. I'm not gonna worry too much about that. If I recall correctly, the tranquilizer darts are kinda ass. Cause like, you'll nail somebody with them and they actually function like real tranquilizers, whereas it's not instantaneous. So they go running around causing a scene before they finally drop. So yeah, this is you, Natco, yeah. What's up, buddy? Freight base is under lockdown till the danger's gone, Agent Denton. Right. How you guys holding up? You can't go command me to pull back. I guess for Gunther's sake. What's the deal? We're ready to go in. I can't speak for command, but I'm gonna clean the place out. I hear you. Natalie's right. You nanoogs are born and bred killers. I do my best. Better load up. There are some crates of ammo stashed in the antenna shaft behind the helipad. Might also want to check out the combat next to it. The code's 0451. Thanks. I won't let you down. My tactic, when there's no cover like this, is to pick them off from 50 or 100 paces with a scope. What do you think? I scored an extra one from a couple of thugs we dropped down by the dock. You can have it for 700 credits. I also picked up some 10mm ammo and some crossbow tranquilizer darts. Say, 200 for one and 60 for the other. Shouldn't you turn that stuff over to the quartermaster? Sure, I will. As long as command has the rest of us on parade drill, someone might as well put this hardware to use. I'll check back with you later. So scope could be handy, uh, and the uh, the code to this back area is, I think it was the uh, like Ion Storm office key or whatever, or not Ion Storm? Was it running with scissors? Oh my god, get get off of it! There we go. What do we got? Tranquilizer darts. A data cube. Uh. All right, van camera system login. So the user's satcom password unatco 001. So with this we can unlock doors, we can open doors, and we can turn off cameras. Very fancy. So, if you don't know the login information, you can also use multi-tools to hack those. Um, but if I recall correctly, it like, throws a time limit on it or something. And that opened this. Which netted me an, an EMP grenade, which is actually is a good find, I think. And I think we got some XP from that. There was that little, like, electronic sound, I believe. Get off the la Man, ladders are gonna be a challenge in this, aren't they? Did we get XP? Did we? Yeah, we got some XP. We got like 75. So, you know, it adds up. We're only like thousands away from anything. Come back here, you little shit. No one escapes my gaze. Except for our allies, but we don't talk about that. Okay. You want to whack some thugs? You better load up. I, I don't want any of your I'll shit, bro. You later. I gotta go out and do... I gotta go out and do a heckin' violence. EMP grenades are good, though. I believe... I want to say they completely shut down robots like that one right there that will fill us with bullets. Be careful. The NSF has set up patchwork security systems here. Set the turrets and camera in the status rooms. A hasty defense, but we won't be here long. It should work. All right, security cameras. NSF001 password is smash the state. I'll never remember that. 
but okay. The NSF put a commercial grade security bot in this area. You can either avoid its patrol route or, if you're feeling lucky, try and take it out with the EMP grenades or explosives. I wouldn't recommend taking it on with small arms. Yeah, they tend to be quite resistant to bullets. Totally gonna pepper spray this dude. My body is ready. Just waiting. Just lurking in the shadows, sharpening my pepper spray. It's gonna be funny, and then we're gonna beat him to death with a crowbar. Who was that? I didn't see a uniform. You didn't see nothing, buddy. You didn't see nothing. There's nobody. It's nothing. Yeah, it's Take nothing. Ah! Son of a bitch! Ah! Pepper spray, why are you so bad? There it goes. Yes! God damn. Alright, so this is how the trank darts work. You can see I hit him with it. And you just kind of, yeah, it, it, they're not great because they inevitably will go and like aggro their buddies. I don't want to, I don't want to search him. I want to move him, but it won't let me move him. It won't let me move him while he's alive, and it won't let me kill him while he's unconscious. My God! Target. Ah, shit, Doombot! A weapon to surpass Metal Gear, not the Gep gun. Get fucked. Oh God, things are going poorly. This guy wasn't just a grunt. What's going on? We got killed. Just killed him. You bastards! You just killed JC. It's okay. I blame the Doombot, but there's a reason I quick saved. <laughs> Fuck off, buddy. The, the the pepper spray dream is dead, and flare is probably less than ideal. I know I heard something. But you didn't. You didn't. Everything is quiet. Why won't it let me pick up the? Bo oh, is it because I have a weapon equipped? There we go. To say like it was letting me pick up corpses earlier. I like set these. Okay, we can't set EMP grenades. Oh no, yeah, we can. We can totally set these things like lambs. I totally want to do that. I'm gonna save. Where's that fucking dick bot? Hey, dick bot. I'll wait. And when that thing EMPs you, I'm gonna come around and show you the business end of the crowbar. Betrayed me. Oh, there it is. I think they explode. Maybe. I don't know. All I know is that I don't trust it. Alright, so when it's high pitched, we have a lock, and you shoot, and the robot dies. Was that a waste of ammo? Most likely. Do I care? Not particularly. Do I have any? I do have a. We'll go ahead and use this. That'll heal us for two points. Whoop. Takes so long to aim. One aiming reticle. Anytime today. That's him. He's a ha <laughs> He's going. On oh, down he goes. So yeah, you can see that the trank dart, not ideal. In a lot of cases, that's a gun turret up there, by the way. In a lot of cases, it's better to just, like, blow their fucking heads off. And you can see the difference here with how much more quickly our pistol aims compared to that crossbow. Hey. 
There's another one. Bad time to reload, JC. Was there another one? I don't think so. I think that dude just hit me. Son of a bitch. Dealing damage to my meager hit point total. Eventually we'll be able to like get ourselves armored and stuff. Ooh, that dude had a fucking sniper rifle on him. Holy shit, okay. Works for me, and some tech goggles. Uh, provide some light amplification, okay, so. Mild usefulness. Our aim, you can see, unskilled is very bad. But we should be able to one-shot dudes. I don't remember, oh no, that's an ally, all right. I was gonna say, I don't remember. I don't remember whether or not the, the Doom bots like this take one or more shots. It all happened an hour ago. The barge docked and the NSF moved right on in, offloading the cargo into speedboats. Our undercover man, Harley Philbin, should be somewhere out on the docks now. Alright, well I just killed somebody, so... He had some smokes and a bunch of flares on him. I feel like machine gun ammo. Oh, it's rockets, nice. Or a gep gun, I think. Hey now, are you hostile? Yeah, you are, all right. I don't necessarily wanna kill you, you're just like a dock worker. Oh, fuck! I'm not the only one towing poisons. Did I get him? Yeah. We're both just sitting here, like, taking damage over time. That's right, flee! Have another one! You son of a bitch! Tranquilizer darts, huh? Well... You... you picked a fight with the wrong... Eh! With the wrong robot man! Now you sleep with the fishes. Alright, these are TNT. We can shoot these and I believe they explode. I don't necessarily want to waste the ammo finding out. I'm actually, while well, my mind is on it, I'm gonna drop this fucking tranquilizer gun, because, like, realistically, it's kind of bad. Got a man in you? A robot? Or nothing? Disappointment. Okay, you're friendly. Oh, okay, so that's probably our contact right there. Is hiding anything fun back here? I love how I have to, like, hit F12 to do my flashlight. Totally reasonable. I'll take that soda. I'll drink that soda. Tastes like hit points. You guys got anything fun down here? I see a crate, I think. I do. Oh, this is medical, too. Hell yeah, med kit. For our ailing body. Is there anything out here? I'm gonna save before I do this, just in case there's killer fish. Ooh. We do have a breath meter, it's in the upper left corner of the screen. We cannot hold our breath for very long. And it doesn't really look like there's anything down here, sadly. At least not immediately... Immediately worth stealing. Alright, back up we go. Alright, buddy. Time you showed up. Iron and copper. The statue is copper on an iron frame, right? Passwords enough, pal. Don't think you know something about the lady I don't. My dad did tours out here. I heard that you can get me inside. Depends. You get your man out, take back the statue, whatever. But I know the commander and I don't want to see him get hurt. Here's a picture so you don't make a mistake. You can trust me. I'll take your word. Here's the key to the front entrance. The commander's not much of a soldier. He'll surrender as soon as he sees you. I need him alive because he's my main contact at the NSF. If he's dead, I don't have much of a business. Thanks. Thanks, bro. Anything worth stealing in here? Knife, flares, random fire extinguisher. I was... I was hoping I could take that and perhaps use it as a weapon, but okay, sure. That it just spins on the wall is adorable. Oh, 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 that's our crap that we left. Alright. 
Fair enough. All right, so now we have one of a couple ways to get into this place. There are like three or four ways to get into this place. I can think of at least at least two, maybe three off the top of my head. But I think we're going to wait until next time because hopefully we should be able to finish this by the end of next episode. So as for usual, folks, thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time, and I will see you all next time where an adventure continues. Until then. Hey, you made it to the end. Nice. If you had a good time, check out one of these other series, see if you like them. Drop a like, comment, or subscribe if you'd like to support the channel, be the machine and all that. As always, thanks for watching.